In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import custom field lists from text files or Excel files into QuickBooks Desktop. So if you're not familiar with what a custom field is, let's just run through that quickly. Within QuickBooks, you have a certain number of fields where you can store information about customers, vendors, employees, and items. Sometimes that might not be enough information for you. You have other information that you like to store within QuickBooks. And this is where a custom field becomes an important part. So custom fields can give you the flexibility to add specific information about your customers and vendors or employees or items um, and helps you add and track additional information about those. Once those custom fields have been added to QuickBooks, um, then you can use them on invoices, sales orders, on any of your forms, as well as also um, to display within reports. So I've set up one in this example here, which is the item list, and I've added a custom field called color. So if we open QuickBooks and look inside QuickBooks, and let's edit this item to show you how that custom field was set up. So this is an inventory part, and I've added the color field in here. QuickBooks also gives you the ability to add even more fields. This is a copy of Enterprise, so we can set up up to 15 customized fields. Um, allows you to set what type of data should be populated into those, um, whether it needs to be dates or phone numbers or anything like that, and whether it's required to appear or that data to appear if you create a transaction or if you create another item. So there are lots of advanced aspects of custom fields, which I won't run through here, um, but I'm just going to show you quickly what I mean by a custom field and how to set those up. So now we have this custom field set up in QuickBooks. We need to enter all this data in. So typically with QuickBooks, you'd have to go through and open up the next item and then go to the custom field area and type in the next color and click OK. So now you can imagine if you're doing this for um, hundreds of items, this is going to be quite laborious. So within Z-Axis, we have a way of making that a lot easier. We can import the data from an Excel file and batch update all these custom fields directly into QuickBooks. I'm going to show you how you do that. So the first step in the process is to open Z-Axis and connect to your QuickBooks desktop company file. So what we're going to do is export out an item list and then add these colored custom field data in on a spreadsheet. Now you can skip this stage if you already have a list of your items in QuickBooks and the custom field associated with it. I'm just assuming that you don't and we'll do it this way. So I'm going to select inventory item and export that out. So those are my items that have been um, retrieved from QuickBooks. I'm going to select it as Excel and save a copy of that. So here's a copy of the Excel list that contains the names the items that I have in my QuickBooks file. So I'm going to keep a copy of that. It also includes a lot of additional information which I don't really need when I'm importing the custom field. So I'm going to, so I'm going to tidy that up so I've just got the item and the custom field date detail. So I've edited the list so we've got rid of the additional information and it's just we have a column for the full name of the item as well as the custom field which is the color. So I'll go through and add some data in here that I want to bring into QuickBooks. So I've added some custom field data in, and I'm going to save this. Now going back into Z-axis, I'm going to click on the Import module. I'm going to browse to the file which contains the item list and the custom fields. And it will display that data. Next, I'm going to add a new mapping. So this is the column mapping field area where I'm going to match the fields in QuickBooks to the fields in my import file. So I select the transaction type custom field list. So the fields marked in yellow are mandatory. We must map those. 
If you are not sure of what each of these fields are, then by clicking on this blue link here, we'll launch a web page. So it will take us up to a browser on our website, which actually runs through a detailed description of each of these fields and what we're expecting there. So data extension name is the label for the custom field. The list data extension type is whether what type of list we're importing. So in this case, we're importing an item. The full name is the full name of the item. And the data extension value is the column that contains the custom field data. So that's a very important resource that you can use when importing. I know that this is going to be color. But we don't have a column in our import file. So what I've done is I've created is what we call a constant. So the list data type is an item. Now this is where we match the col columns up. So here's the full name of the item and there'll be a preview there. And the data extension value is the column that contains the custom field data that we want to import. We'll give this mapping a name. And click Save. Now you'll see in the preview screen these fields have changed. We've now displaying the constant values that we mapped in for these additional two fields. So we're saying this is the name of the field that we're importing to and this is the extension type. So it's an item type they're importing against. So when we're ready we can then go ahead and import that directly into QuickBooks. And we'll see a summary screen like this appear. We'll go through and validate the data as well as check to make sure it's in the right format and then import that directly into QuickBooks updating the data in QuickBooks. Now if any of these fail then we can go back and we can modify it or correct the error and retry the import. In some instances that may occur if you're if you have certain data field type restrictions like it's looking for a date format or it's looking for an, a value that's included on a particular type of list then you may get a validation error from QuickBooks saying this is not a valid date format and so on. So you just need to go back check your data formats and retry the import. Now the import is complete. Let's go ahead and check to see what we have in QuickBooks. So we revert back to our QuickBooks file and there you can see the values have been automatically updated into QuickBooks. So that's just a quick demonstration of how you can use Z-Axis to batch upload um, custom fields directly into your QuickBooks company filed lists.